Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to create a resource box that sells you. And what I mean by that is how do we create a resource box which is located at the bottom of that article, as we can see here. How do we make that resource box so that it promotes your site, it promotes you, builds your credibility, and things like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So the big question here is, what are the must-haves that you need in your resource box? First, of course, you're going to need your first name and your last name. You don't want to write the article without your name, otherwise somebody else is going to get the credit. The next thing you'll need is your website address. And the reason for that is, even if you don't have a website, you might want to think about getting one, because the articles are going to build that relationship with your readers and they're going to want to know more about you they want to know your name they want to know your website address and you have the opportunity to give your pitch and your pitch is basically what makes you unique and what makes what you are offering unique so right now we're talking about you know job interviews you might have some sort of background on that and you might have some sort of expertise on that so you might want to mention that so make it brief though you don't want to make it too long and what are you offering that's unique whether it is an affiliate program a link to affiliate program a free report as you can see here or a link to a squeeze page so you want to keep in mind that when you write the article and you submit it for article marketing you don't want to just send out articles just for the purpose. You, you want to have a plan to send traffic back your way. But in order to do that, you need to have a website, you need to have a free report, or something to keep them and have them sign up on your list. So that's what your pitch is. You want to basically tell them what you want to offer them for free or you know what you think they should buy, this and that. The fourth thing is your call to action. As I mentioned earlier that you've done your pre-selling and warming them up by having them read the article. So now it's time to lead them to buy from you or visit your website. So you can say something like, uh, now that you have gotten 10 tips on you know, how to improve your job interviews, grab this free report or sign up at this website today and get a free e-course or grab this product today blah 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 so that's your call to action and as I mentioned here these are optional your free report which is a given that if you do give a free report a lot of people will take you up on the offer anyways because they like your article and you have contact information you can include that if they want to contact you, you know, through email or this and that, or by a 1-800 number. So that's all optional if you want people calling you. But I'd say the best route would be to have a free report or to use it for affiliate marketing purposes or mainly to build your list. So let me give you a real life example by adding this information to our job interview article. So right now I have opened up Notepad and copy and pasted it in here. So you want to put your name, you want to put your first name, last name. So I can do something like Stephen Luke, my website address, my web address. your pitch and your call to action and you could say your pitch could be like six years of experience and whatever job experience and then what makes what you're offering unique so in this case I'm promoting affiliate programs so I can say something like and we can go ahead and delete all those before the actual information so that we can actually see what we're looking at here so we've got a double double hit right here 
We got the resource box, and remember that if you viewed the video on finding affiliate programs, then you saw that I had a call to action there too. Uh, the resource box is, allows us to have sort of a secondary, you know, hit. So if they want to buy the product, then great. If they don't and they want a free report, then that way you still get a person signing up on your list. So you can say, grab your free report to whatever at blah 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 dot com. So now that you have that, that is basically your resource box. And we can take that, we can copy and paste that into here. And of course, if you want to look at different resource boxes that might be successful, you can always go to easingarticles.com. And you can choose just random articles, or you can even choose these author spotlights just to see how they write up their resource boxes. And we're looking at one that says Elizabeth Eckert is the author behind. And you can have that. So you can sort of see examples of this so you don't have to start fully from scratch. Of course, you want to have different content. Okay, great. Now that you know how to create a resource box, you know how to write an article, insert the affiliate programs, you know, create a resource box. The last video, video number six, we're going to get to the fun part. We're going to talk about how do you take that article and how do you market it to the whole wide world so let's go ahead and do that